Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Vicky 3 Let's Play as the United States of America. And yeah, we finally got to building the coal mines now, which is great. Uh, hopefully that will help our coal situation quite significantly. How much does one coal mine provide? 65. It's not quite enough, is it? Go for 10 in Colorado. Go for 10 in South Dakota. 10 in Illinois. And 5 in Kansas. And 5 in Iowa. And I'm going to... I should have alt-clicked all of those because now I'm going to have to go all the way. We are embroiled in a huge war, as you all know. Move all those to the top. Yeah, we are embroiled in a monstrous war uh, with the darn uh, British over here. And we are losing quite significantly. Mainly, a lot of it's because of our Sokoto troops not being very good. Uh, Maori's in Louisiana. Great, thank you. That's cool. Uh, and let's go... Yeah, how are our colonies doing? We are doing very well with the colonies. France is blocked off here. We are colonizing down this region, trying to beat France into this whole area. Uh, but as long as we join up our lands, I'm quite happy. France can have this eastern side. Uh, but yeah, things are not going too well in the war, as you can see. Sokoto is kind of screwing it for us again. Uh, we did give France a treaty port in Liberia. I don't think that's going to make too much issue. That just means that they, you know, get... Uh, tariffs, etc. No tariffs, etc. on our import on imports and all that stuff to our lands, which I I don't think is too much of a worry. I mean, Britain wants one as well, but I'm just we've lost a lot of men in this, so I don't know. I don't really want to uh, fight uh, to let Britain have one, just just because. Let me go for the ironclad. Well, if we got the ironclad. Ooh, that's quite good. Minus 20% mobilization goods requirements. That definitely see will work. Trench infantry for barracks down here as well. We're a bit further ahead of time on that than we need to be. Where was the rubber vulcanization? Unless I've already got it somehow. Uh, rubber mastication over there. Oh, vulcanization's already done. We got elastics for textile mills, bicycle messengers, and conveyors. It leads to automatic bottle blowers technology as well. For a glass works. Art silk, aniline, synthetics plants, and art silk technology. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think we win this against Britain. I think we just need to wait it out, though. And if we get too high up, we're just going to cancel. We're just going to stop our construction for a little bit. We need some allies. No one wants to be allies with us. No one likes us. I think... How are our relations with you? Loyal, amicable. Is that plus 50? When can we, you know, annex you? When is that possible? Zero percent progress, and we'll re result 1873 plus one percent day. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, actually, we're going for attack on a lot of these. Make sure you're just defending. And when that battle's over. We'll go for the... Yeah, we'll go for defense as well. Looks like we've taken... We're trying to take everything up here. Okay, good. Surprised this is not making them want to get out of the war quicker. Okay, we've taken a lot of their areas around the world. We've taken down there. We've taken up here. Ooh, what's this? Scandinavia versus radical Scandinavia. Okay, Britain's got 44 troops there. So it is kind of making them second-guess themselves. Now, where did my men go? 
Advancing at the Newfoundland front. But where are you? Oh, you, you're there. They're doing the old switcheroo. <laughs> well done. Well done, men. Mm. Now, where have you gone? They're just jumping around all over the place. I just think it's... Yeah, look at that. They've they've lost... I mean, we've lo had a lot more dead. But I don't know how much of that is us and how much of that is Sokoto. I'm assuming a lot of that's Sokoto. But we've wounded a lot more of them. I think definitely for our next war, we need shrapnel artillery. And we're going to have to build a lot of artillery plants for that. So we are building coal now. I wonder how our market's looking. Again, clothes is a massive issue. Grain, iron, services, gold, sulfur, fabric. Okay. Wood is a bit of an issue. Glass, tobacco. Coal is now pretty good. We're going to be positive on coal. That's great. It's really going to help out a lot of our factories. Nevada gets gold rush. Really going to help out a lot of our factory. Then we need some glass. We need glass, wood, and uh, more tools still. More and more tools. Buildings-wise, we're doing coal. Then we're going for some government administrations. We actually probably don't need all of these. Oh, not the logging camps. We do with the logging camps. I'll take a few of them. I'll take those ones. They don't take long to build. Logging. Yeah, lots of logging. Then paper. Yeah, that's okay. Just do that. Get some tooling workshops as well. Still means we can keep on building a lot of those coal mines anyway. So I'm kind of happy with that. Oh, now they're coming into our land. Which is never great. You guys defend the front as well. We've got so many more men than them, but they've moved a lot across now. I think we just need to wait it out. They're on minus nine for a white piece, so I think it's just going to take a bit of time. We'll keep on just waiting out, and while we're doing so, we'll keep on colonizing. Yeah, going fast. Very fast. France are also going fast as well, so we've got to be wary of that, but yeah, we're fine. Mm. Population is soon going to become a bit of an issue. Like we're number four worldwide in terms of our GDP now, which is great. Our standard of living isn't fantastic. But hopefully it starts going up. I don't understand why it's so low. Well, Texas has a terrible standard of living. Oh, it's not got a huge access to the... Um... Oh, yeah, we're going to have to go through and look at all our infrastructure in all these places, aren't we? So let's have a look. Build two in Texas, two in South Dakota, two in Kentucky. And we're going to have to queue them up to the top as well. So when I go to the buildings, it's fine queuing them to the top because of what we uh, what we have available to us. Where is the railways that we also queued in? There they are. Get them all in. Now, we might start going down a little bit on um, engines and that sort of thing. So, we'll have to have a look at that in a second. But, yeah, we'll be fine. Echoes of revolutions. Whatever. Industrialists can have a little bit of a hero. Not too bothered by that. <sighs> Sokoto is just really, really ruining us here. It is going down quite quick, though, because of turmoil in Britain. They've got a huge amount of gold reserves. It's kind of a bit of a race now to see who <laughs> see who wins. And we really need to chill after this. Get our... Um, we're notorious. On top of that, we need to get our uh, thing back. What do you call it? We need to get all our cash back. We are losing cash hand over fist <laughs> right now. In a lot of ways. Uh, how much? How long do these uh, railways take? Not too long. 
And when they're done, straight back onto the tooling workshops and coal mines. A lot of coal mines. Then a few government administrations, which don't take long. Uh, and then just lots of logging camps, which we do need. Then paper mills, arts academies, universities, and tobacco plantations. I think that's okay. I think that's okay for now. We'll keep on reacting to what we need um, as we go through. Uh, Market-wise... Yeah, clothes is just ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, um, our artillery and our uh, arms production is, is terrible, terrible right now. As well as ammunition. So we're going to have to build a lot of that up if we want to get shrapnel, shrapnel for next time. Um, but yeah. We're making enough of everything else, I think. But yeah, tools. A bit of lead as well. We need some more lead. Porcelain. Rubber. We're actually down now on rubber. That's surprising because we built so many rubber plantations early on. Um, I think we'll go for 20 in Equator. Gold has been depleted in Sonora. It's a bit of an issue. Uh, are you ready for white piece yet? Minus one. Come on, Britain. Come on. <laughs> Get to one. Yeah, it's just going up, I, I think, every week. Plus one on the white piece. There we are. Ah. God damn Britain, bro. I hate them. I hate them. God damn. So unbelievably annoying. <laughs> what bastards. They have a weird, weird area around there. Very weird indeed. But at least we, we didn't win. But we kind of won. <laughs> if, you, if that makes sense. They didn't enforce anything on us. Spread the world. Uh, we've got authority. What I'm thinking is that we use it for another... Or maybe we need more naval bases. To get more of a of an army of a navy, should I say? Build five. Ah, so I'm queuing up so much, but we just did build so quickly now; it doesn't even really matter. Um, but anyway, oh, we can get more declared interests. So let's uh. Declare for South China and in Asia there. And could go for the Caribbean. I don't think that's really something we really want to go for. Uh, not India either. Middle East, no. Let's go for... Let's go for Brazil. And see what we can do there. See whether we can make them into a protector after all. Um, I don't want to grant them independence. I, I want to annex them. What's this? Oh, that's going to be a bit annoying. France attacking Monga Mangbetu. Oh, God damn, France. You have to try and get rid of all our well-laid plans everywhere, don't you? Uh, and yeah, we're colonizing everywhere we can right now. Um, we've pretty much, you know, I would say in the race, in the uh, the scramble for Africa, we're, we're probably the winner. Britain only has desert, and that's that's great for us. We have rich land. Rich, rich land with huge populations in a lot of these places. Although that's only 56, but look here. Kasai, 868,000. You know, a lot of population in a few of these different places. 1.06 million in South Cameroon. Um, this area is more uh, deserty, but still a lot of population, a lot of buildings, all that sort of thing. Would be funny if France lost this as well. The dream, California plus two standard of living, great, and we're getting making about forty-eight thousand now with all this building that's going on, and coal. Hopefully now. 
Oh, yeah, we've got a load of coal. So hopefully we make more. Now got enough wine. Furniture's again gone down to nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I think, honestly, after this coal, if we look properly at what we're doing. Yeah, those government administrations. We've got enough bureaucracy, so I don't need those. We don't need these government administrations. But I think instead of the logging camps, we'll go straight for some... Um, I might build a power plant, actually. One or two. Build one in Texas. Two in Texas. Uh, but no, instead of that, let's go for the textile mills. And we'll go for 10 in Kasai, 10 in the Niger Delta, and 10 in California. How much do they make in terms of clothes? They only make 60, so 10 is 600. So if we look at our market, yeah, we need about 30. And then I should have alt-clicked, shouldn't I? Ah, god damn. When these coal mines are done, we will queue those textile mills in. Uh, and then we'll go to the logging camps, then the paper mills, all that sort of thing. Um, tobacco is a big issue still, but I ain't too bothered about tobacco, not going to lie. God, we, we do have some big deficits, but we've also got some big, big boons as well. Coal now, coal and iron, that is huge for us to have a boon of that. And tools, we've just gone slightly above. But with our more building, we're going to be below again. So we need a big deficit, of, uh, big boom of tools, really. Chemical plants, yeah, get more chemicals. Yeah, France. Oh, my God. Please tell me France loses against the natives again. That would be hilarious. Happened twice in our um, Netherlands campaign. That would be great. If that happens, that'll be so funny. Although France seems to be winning now. Oh, well. Our standard of living is just getting quite tough to really uh, increase. Public schools. I think private health insurance would be really helpful. Uh, let's have a look at our institutions. Of course, colonial affairs, we don't need to go too much further. Education-wise, definitely worth it. Then law enforcement, how much bureaucracy is that going to cost? Doesn't tell us. But that's going to help. And then that's going to help as well. Hopefully we have enough bureaucracy for that. But if we don't, we will build those uh, government administrations. Like I said, they don't take long to build the government administrations compared to a lot of other stuff. Uh, what we're going to do now is queue up those textile mills. So queue all those up. And the power plants as well. And maybe the uh, naval base. And yeah, they only take three weeks to build a naval base anyway. So quick. Uh, Influence-wise, let's have a look at what we want to do. Um, increase relations with... We're still going with Russia. I think Scandinavia. I'd like to increase with... Prussia or Austria, but they don't like us. How about the Ottomans? Hi, Ottomans. Not China. They don't... Brazil doesn't like us. That's fine. I really want to take parts of China. Another gold field is depleted. I'd love to build the Panama Canal. But... I wonder where that is. Now, let's build a skyscraper in New York. Just one. It plus 25% government administration throughput. Let's build two. Because we got all our government administrations pretty much in New York. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the journal then. Can we build a land in Panama? 
30,000 government expenses. We'll take that. We'll take Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, so, no, hopefully we can build the Panama Canal, and that should generate us some cash. And allow us to get through this way as well. Not that that's so important for us, but for our convoys it might be. Uh, but yeah. At least 75% of all eligible American states. Currently 6.66. Increasing import value was successful. Um, we should also probably look at our trade routes and try and find ones... Yeah, we don't want to do that. We're importing the... Don't need to import silk or explosives anymore. We're exporting so much fabric. So, yeah. We want to tariff on exports. No, do we... Hmm. Uh... I mean, I don't want to export furniture. We're exporting a lot of coal now as well. So let's uh, protect that supply. Luxury furniture, we're importing a lot. Paper, we're importing a lot. I mean, we're exporting ammunition when we really shouldn't be. Same as artillery and same as engines. I want all of that. Tools, I don't want to export tools. That's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm going to make some money from this as well. That should help. That should help in the long run. Uh, God, the power plants take ages to build. I didn't realize they took so long. Then we got a lot of, uh, a lot of textile mills to do. They don't take too long, though. Military statistics. Uh, minus 20% mobilization goods. Now, I'm not going to focus on the military too much right now. But, yeah. I think society, we might want to have a look at maybe international stock exchange or zeppelins. Or, I mean, multiple alliances would be great if we could actually have an alliance. God damn it. <laughs> We could also do mass propaganda technology. Our literacy is starting to go up. And authority-wise, I think we go for a decree to um, promote social mobility. And we'll do it in New York. We can go for another one, actually. If we go to... is there a, Where do we find a list of our states? See the U.S. Uh, population. I would like to see where I have the most people. Is there not like a list of states? Go for... If I go here. Go to... Element... Yeah, I know states, but like... Do we not have population? Why is population not on here? Like, how... Surely there's a way I can find out which has the most population. Uh, but anyway, let's... Uh, let's do that decree in Ohio. It looks like they have a lot of GDP as well. So we'll do that. And we're not enacting any laws, so I'm not too bothered by that. Go for feminism. And go for political agitation. Psychoanalysis. I think that minus 5% bureaucracy will be good. Institutions ticking up. Going to take a while. But they will tick all the way up eventually. Good, 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 good. The most dangerous game. Oh, weird. What's this? Some form of healthcare. I'll take that cost for now. Uh, 
yeah. Let's have a look now at our... We are trying to enact the private healthcare. Just like America. <laughs> and we've nearly, very, very nearly joined our lands. So close. I mean, I would prefer them to expand. Uh, up up this way anyway. Uh, we're trying to trying to reach across there so we can start colonizing up here as well. France did take there. We have very similar colors, which is quite jarring, but it's okay. Um, in terms of states we can incorporate now, let's have a look. Oh, a lot of these. And we need them to be incorporated as well. It's going to cost us a lot of bureaucracy. American and American Panama. Oh, yeah, we took part of the Panama. But we haven't built the Panama Canal there yet. Hmm. You can expand its levels. What does it do? Let's uh, queue that up to the top as well then. It's going to take a while, isn't it? So we might as well. We'll queue up those two skyscrapers. 50 weeks and 100 weeks. God damn it. Well, that's fine. Now we reach the summit. Expedition gains progress. A new quest. Our guide knows better. Uh, we are building the Panama Canal now. Very nice. We've just built another textile mill. We are still going down in money now because of uh, we're trying to subsidize healthcare until we get it enacted. Hopefully it gets enacted on the next tick, but we shall see. Come on. Join us together. Finally. <laughs> we shall be joined. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's really not much else we can uh, colonize after this. Okay, we've got a bit more uh, progress on the expedition. Good. Market-wise, how are we looking now? I mean, I'm just building loads of textile mills and it still doesn't seem to want to go down. We should have a lot of fabrics still, do we not? Yeah, we've got 300 fabric still. It should really help our uh, standard of living if we can get all this cheap. Tools as well is a big one. Oh, skyscraper is going to take a while. A year to build. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? It's taking a while to build these textile mills, in fact. It's going to take a year. Then we're back onto the coal now. Now we have private health insurance. Fantastic. France is fighting... Going to fight Oman. God damn France. I'm really not in a situation to fight another war. Otherwise, I would consider more rubber. We gain some peril. Okay, we go for no more peril from now on. Low market access in a lot of these places. Because of the uh, yeah infrastructure. So, let's build some railways. Uh, Niger Delta. I wish it would tell you the infrastructure on this map. Like, oh, it, it does minus 46. So, we need three there. Minus 20. We've done that. Anywhere else? Bornu. One of those. We're down here. Doesn't look like it. About down this way. Uh, Kansas. There. And Ohio. Rubber discovered in Guinea. Good. Swollen River. Oh, we've gained more peril. 
A new quest. Cool. Ooh, lots of different sound effects all coming on at the same time there. No, low risk, low risk, please. <laughs> low risk! Buildings wise, still going. Still pushing through with the textile mills. Nearly got them all built now. How is the market looking for, te for clothes? Not good at all. Not good at all. Do you know what? Before we finish, we're just going to go through all our buildings and see whether we've got the right production me methods in there. Use more grain and sugar from this. So, 700 grain and 250 sugar. Do we have enough of each? We've got enough grain. What about sugar? Not quite enough sugar, but I think... I mean, it's the only thing that uses it, so we'll take that. Then we've got vacuum canning, which uses... Oil, less grain, and more fish. No, not quite ready for that yet. Go for patent stills to make more liquor. Uses more glass and sugar. No, thank you. I think we're fine. Textile mills, we can go for sewing machines. I honestly think we're going to have to go for that. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna remove our fabric quite a bit. Here we need silk. Yeah, we don't have any silk right now, so we're not gonna go for any of that. Mechanized looms. Yeah, no, not yet. Furniture. Let's go for we could go for mechanized workshops, which makes more wood. I think we go for that. Uh, precision tools as well. Yep, let's do that. Glass works. We have what we need. Tooling workshops, steel tools. And then I think we go for the rotary valve engine. Or do we? It doesn't produce any more tools. It just means less laborers. I'm fine with that. With more laborers, actually. More peril. I've got so much peril. I've just had bad on every single one of that. I think we'll build more fertilizers. And then vacuum of uh, evaporation. More sulfur. Yeah, we'll take that. Definitely take that. Uh, yeah, we don't want to do the tube boilers for the water mills. Bessemer progress. Yeah, we're fine there. Yeah, we're fine there. We could go for reinforced wooden ships. No, I, I think we're good enough on the uh, clippers. Arms, industries. We can go for breech loaders now. Which takes more steels. Yeah, that's fine. And then munition plants. This is going to rejig our whole market quite a bit. So it will be worth the start of next episode looking at the market. Um... We're going to go for explosive shells at munition plants. Urban centers. Yeah, no, we don't have the wooden steel for that. God damn it. What about electric streetlights? No, 96k substitution, apparently. Photographic art. Fine. Independent artists. We've got two power plants. And then we've got that. University. Cool. Rural ones. Let's go through a rural. We've got psychoanalysis now. Psycho psychoanalysis. Let's have a look. I think we go for that. We need more money right now. Let's go through our rural ones now. We've already done all these ones, haven't we? Uh, millet farms, of course, will use fertilizers. Go for fig orchards for more fruit. And sugar. I think that's probably a good idea, seeing as we need more sugar. We'll go for harvesting tools. Slaughterhouses, always. We can go for electric fences here. We don't have enough electricity for that. 
Uh, coal mines, we've gone for dynamite. We can also go for rail transportation for some of these places, but no, I think it's fine. Condensing engine pump. Makes more coal, uses a lot more tools. Yeah, it's just so much more tools that I can't afford that tools right now. Could go for the dynamite, though. That does... We went for the dynamite here. 1,000 more. I think we go for that and just try and build up our... Uh, try and build up our uh, explosives capability. Right, logging camps. Let's go for sawmills still. And then... Yeah, not everywhere we want uh, hardwood production. And rubber plantations. That's fine. Fishing trawlers. No, we don't want publicly owned. Whaling stations. We've got one whaling station. <laughs> and we've got 4,374 subsistence farms. So we still have... We do still have a lot of peasants. Anyway, guys, well, I think we're going to end it there. Bloody France are fighting again, fighting Lega. So they've kind of cleaned up this whole region, really. Um, it would have been nice if we could have bordered some of these smaller ones and just taken them ourselves. I mean, we do border Wadai and Darfur now, which might be nice to get our hands on. Uh, but we are still coming north into air. We're still taking this area, and we have managed to join our lands up now which is fantastic but anyway guys thank you very much for watching it's been a pleasure as always please do like and subscribe all that good stuff it really does help the channel out and i will see you all again on the next video